County commissioners gave the green light to a new sports complex in Southport yesterday. They approved a $10 million loan for construction of the park, which will more than quadruple the size of the current facilities. As News 13's Emily McLeod tells us, officials and parents say the new complex will have a major impact on youth sports in Bay County. James Gray's son plays for the 15U baseball team, the Southport Thunder. He can't wait for not only his son's team, but all teams to play at a new sports complex. Just getting things like new fields is wonderful, more fields, uh, bigger space for more people to park, and then of course things like dugouts and concession stands and things like that, all of that will be greatly appreciated. The current sports complex has only four fields, which can sometimes be difficult for all of the teams to share. It, it makes practice a little hard sometimes, just trying to, to schedule time and make it work for everybody and all the other teams that's involved. The new $11 million complex will be 33 acres and have seven ball fields. It's going to be nice to be able to give them space to be able to operate and be able to you know, just be able to get in there, have some good tournaments. Uh, the Southport area has always been very heavily involved in baseball and softball from the, uh, the ladies as well. Bay County Commissioner Doug Moore is also excited about the park's walking path. So to be a nice open area that people can come, be able to get good exercise in, as well as be able to come and watch kids play their youth sports. The park is expected to open in 2024. In Bay County, Emily McLeod, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The county is paying for the park with the $10 million loan and another $1 million from impact fees.